It's a Monday, it's time to get philosophical. Something eventful has happened over your weekend and now you want to think about life. Well, I got something for you here today and the topic of this video, it's titled The President versus the Protesters. And what I'm talking about here is essentially what it means to be an alpha male versus a beta male, uh, how to get ahead in the dating game in a competitive dating space where resources are scarce and how to how to understand your inner conflict that will decide whether you're going to get ahead in life and, and achieve the things that make you traditionally attractive and give you confidence as opposed to not achieving those things, staying comfortable and then having a horrible dating life, which is, you know, th th that's what this channel speaks about is making sure you get your dating life in a great place and you know how to uh, approach and attract girls that you're happy with, that, that, that uh, your choice, so to say, right? And everyone's choice is different. So, presidents versus the protesters. You know, it, it, it's universal. It's a universal kind of uh, tenet of masculinity that you can either be alpha or beta. You can be a kind of a leader, confident, successful, or you can be beta, which is, you know, comfortable and, you know, and not that popular, not that naturally attractive not have a great apartment, great car, great job, things like that. And all those kind of traditional tenets of masculinity, the alpha versus the beta, they help to make a first impression. They help to give you confidence for you to succeed in the dating game. But to become alpha and to stay alpha, you're constantly gonna have these internal battles between your mind, which tells you the right thing to do, and your emotions, which are going to tell you to don't take that risk, stay comfortable, avoid pain, right? And <clears throat> this, this applies to everything. So as a dating coach, when I'm coaching my students, either in day game or night game in clubs and streets all around the world, the student knows that they should do the approach. Their mind knows that, you know, and how do you know that? Because you're hearing it from a mentor or you've seen good examples of it from other people, your friends are good at it. Uh, you're reading things or watching things on the internet, in, internet just like this. Mind my cheeks are getting frozen cold being out here in the five degree London evening. And imagine you're in a bar and you, your mind knows that you're supposed to do the approach, but your emotions are saying, don't take that risk, avoid it, that's uncomfortable. And to quote, you know, classic Tony Robbins theory, you're, you're not going to have the leverage to actually take action until the pain of doing the approach is less than being single and being being lonely and sometimes you know in this day and age you can actually be comfortable enough and not get the leverage you can be comfortable staying single paying your bills ordering pizzas getting instant gratification from things like prostitutes or going to strip clubs and you can be happily beta all of your life delusionarily happily beta i should say and never actually become alpha and take control of your dating life, which is what this channel is all about. So it's really easy to understand that in terms of the president and the, the president and the protesters. And, you know, as a, say, as a young boy uh, in your kind of like teenage years, in your formative, in your formative years, in your adolescent years, oftentimes, you know, you'll be timid. Remember your younger self, you're going to be timid and, and shy. But then as you kind of go through puberty and basically come into your adult masculinity, then you kind of start tapping into your alphaness and you can get more brave, more confident, more risky and, and essentially better at dealing with the uncomfortable in order to get yourself ahead in a competitive, in this competitive life that we, li that, that we live in. So in the dating game, you know, there's, you know, a finite amount of attractive girls or ones that you consider attractive to your subjective opinion. And if you need to be among the better guys in order to have a sense of selection or to be in the league of those better girls. And that requires things like study and diet and financial discipline for you to get good jobs, good body, hang out in good places, have a nice car, groom well, be educated. And these are kind of classic traits of actually being attractive. You know, as it turns out, Sometimes you don't even need those kind of things. You can just be super charismatic and willing and brave enough to you know, follow instructions that we give on videos like this and, and boot camps to be funny and charismatic and make the move 
uh, with, with very special social skills, but I'm talking more about the traditional stuff here. So the president versus the protesters, to learn something new, to get good at your education, it requires sacrifice, you know, saying no to parties and drinking with your friends. And it requires a lot of discomfort because if you don't know, if you're trying to learn something new that you haven't done before, you're basically signing up to sit down and try to read and comprehend something that you don't, you completely don't understand. And the idea of that is, you know, you look at it, you read it, you try to understand the examples, but it's going to be inherently difficult and you're going to feel inherently stupid as you're trying to learn something new. But if you keep at it, speak to your teacher, speak to your mentors and get, get more resources, you'll start to comprehend it, you get some experience, you get good at it, and then you can monetize that skill or knowledge or whatever, get a great house, get a great apartment, good car, go, go on good holidays, and live a better life. So, but it all comes back down to those kind of quantum moments. And think about it, the, the protesters are these archaic, evolutionary, DNA, like visceral triggers inside of your chest that say, I don't want to do that. I would rather be, I would rather be lazy. I'd rather do nothing. Uh, it's all too hard. I'm not interested. Things like that, that, that hold you back. But sometimes you've got to ask your president, what does he think? And you, that, that guy, that one conscious alpha voice inside of your head has to say, shut up emotions. You're not helping us here. We have an idea of who we want to be, who we want to date, the kind of car we want to drive, the job we want to have. And you have to do what is essentially the hard thing. Now, the good news is the hard thing is not really that hard. Once you get on top of it, once you're good at going to the gym and studying and being disciplined with your finances and your diet, signing up for mentors and extracurricular activities that are going to put you ahead of other guys, once you get onto that once you become alpha you become addicted to it and it is a breeze but i'm going to tell you right now it's no it, it's no joke it's particularly difficult to transition from being beta lazy fat overweight poor broke unintelligent which might resonate with some of the guys watching this channel to, to transition from that to alpha right to doing the discipline things telling your emotions to shut up um imagine you know you decide okay you haven't gone to the gym for a couple of years you eat unhealthy and you decide I'm gonna I am going to study pick up I'm gonna go to the gym I'm gonna eat healthy that's your mind right your mind hears this as the micro the motorbikes go off in the background your mind says this and when you go to the gym it is going to be excruciatingly painful when you try to eat properly and try to make sense of the grocery store and try to make sense of how you feel in your body as you change the food you eat, it's going to be excruciating. You're going to feel stupid. You're gonna feel idiotic. You study pickup and you go and speak to some girls because your president, your mind, your consciousness, which has higher desires and strives for greatness, you decide to go and speak to girls, you're gonna embarrass yourself. You're gonna feel horrible. Your, your protesters are literally going to be kicking down the door of that presidential office, whatever it might be in this construct, and tell you that you're an idiot, don't do it, stay comfortable. It's gonna be emotionally so uncomfortable that it's gonna flood your intelligent mind that's trying to make better decisions for yourself and that oftentimes they can take over and basically create a coup. Now, the way that I say this to students, I wanna be emotive sometimes. I wanna use aggressive language that, that fires them up. And I say to these guys, like, you know, if you're not going to do the approach, if you're not going to, you know, study the content online, if you're not going to eat properly, go to the gym uh, and make a couple of sacrifices, when you know what you should do, if you're going to listen to the protesters, which are usually a low consciousness kind of impulse as opposed to a high consciousness intelligence, if you do the wrong thing, you are being weak. You're being weak. You're not being strong. And if you're not a strong person, you don't deserve to be among the good people, the good guys, and the good guys get selectivity, right? And when I said to a student, dude, you, you know, you're actually being weak. You have a choice here to be strong or weak, to keep the protesters at bay, to manage them, and you're, you're losing that internal battle. And you, you got to realize, like imagine, imagine if presidents all over the world 
when they, just to, to reference the metaphor here as a teaching tool, where if a president had protesters at the gate saying, uh, you know, we don't want a president, we just want to live with anarchy or whatever it might be, whatever the protest is, and the president says, okay, all right, whatever the, whatever the protesters say, I'm going to do that, all right, because I want to please the protesters. Well, order would break down, and the end result is you're just going to basically live on your impulses, eat what you want, go to strip clubs, booze, drink alcohol, gamble your money away. All these instant gratifications, all these temptations, all these vices that will give you, yes, instant gratification in terms of seeing tits, gambling, the thrill of gambling, um, eating pizza. But will you have an attractive girlfriend? Will you have a quality life? No, you won't. And that's the message of this blog, this Philosophical Monday. What I wanted to say was, what I wanted to say in this, in this video was that next time you have what we call quantum moments, where you could do the alpha thing, work hard, be disciplined, be committed, uh, you know, follow mentors, instructions as difficult as they might be, the things that you know will help you to get ahead, to get the, the girlfriend that you want, or the wife that you want, or the job that you want, the car you want to drive, the money you want to make, or the lazy thing, which is essentially the visceral impulse of you know, your mammalian brain telling your emotions to tell you to shut up, you have to ask yourself, are you listening to your president or are you gonna let the protesters, the low consciousness mob, overtake your decision-making process? You know the right thing to do, or you should know the right thing to do if you have good, good mentorship and if you're following good examples. You know the right thing, so you should do it. The good thing is, once you get good at being alpha and following the president, you're going to feel like a king. You're going to be really good at, at staying alpha. But the transition phase is really, really hard. So you've got to be strong. Don't be weak. Be strong. So anyway, hope you learned something there. Of course, if you did, you know, punch the good old thumbs up button, as, as we always say on YouTube. Um, if, uh, if you liked it and this is your first time here, subscribe because... We make a couple of videos so you can learn things on a weekly basis. And uh, YouTube has changed. Uh, you can see this, this channel has changed and our websites have changed because YouTube is a bit of a different space than what it once was. So I want you to have a look at the links below in the description because here you can see my infield videos, me demonstrating how to, how to demonstrate these social skills with live infield pickups, day game, night game, and a whole range of different situations to see in reference to this video, what it's like if, if you can be alpha and if you can think reasonably and act with strength and go and do your approaches, stay in set, use charisma, take risk with, risks with your communication and uh, your expression to flirt and have fun, and you're going to get great results with girls. Alex from the 4 Week Natural, nice out here in London. Love to bring you guys videos and I will speak to you again very soon.